As the holidays roll in, you can expect to see more people on the road visiting family and friends. While it can be a joyous time, more travelers means more opportunities for wrecks on the road. John Spade is a partner with Hollis Wright and Clay. He's giving us some information this morning. We need to know, John, thanks for coming in this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Certainly. We know this is an exciting time of year. Uh, I always talk about October, early November, like the gateway to the holiday season. That's right. A lot of us are already thinking about Thanksgiving and Christmas planning, those great get togethers. But we know with more travelers, there's more opportunities for things to happen. About how often are there wrecks happening on Alabama roads already? Uh, well, at, right now, I mean, we are rolling into the holiday season, so it's only going to pick up. But as of right now, about every three to four minutes, there's a car wreck that's being called in and reported. Mm -hmm. So um, at Hollis Wright, we handle a variety of personal injury uh, matters, but we do a lot of car wreck and uh, commercial vehicle accidents. And so we see an uptick now and really through the end of the year, as you said, with Thanksgiving, uh, Christmas, New Year's, all of the holiday season kind of starting to ramp up. And what steps should people take immediately after an accident? Well, first and foremost, you know, make sure that uh, everybody's okay, you know, check on everybody. And then it's important to, to report the accident and document what's going on. And so uh, call 911, take photographs. Uh, if you're injured, go seek medical treatment. Um, and if you are injured and you didn't cause an accident, then it might be a good idea to contact a, an attorney to help uh, pursue your case. Because most times these claims are going to be against insurance companies. Um, and insurance companies are going to have people that are going to be deployed early with boots on the ground, that sort of stuff. And so it's important to have a attorney on your side that can fully represent you and get you uh, the full uh, and fair compensation that you deserve. That's good to know. Some good information there. We, we talked about the holidays and of course with some of those parties, we know that people are having a good time. They're drinking and people aren't always uh, responsible when it comes to getting behind the wheel. So um, when it comes to alcohol related wrecks, do you all see more of those throughout the holidays? We, we certainly do. And to your point with these holiday parties, you know, alcohol consumption goes up during the holidays and uh, just taking Thanksgiving, for instance, which is going to be upon us, I think, sooner than we care, yeah. care to admit it, October blew by. Um, Thanksgiving is the number one traveled holiday, whether you're going to lunch with one side of your family and then dinner, you know, with the other people are in the car, they're driving. So we see an increase uh, in wrecks and an increase in alcohol consumption. Unfortunately, that results in an increase in alcohol related accidents mm -hmm. uh, during the holiday seasons. Now, if you are in, a, in an accident and you have not been drinking, but the other person has, um, does that have uh, influence on your case? Does that impact uh, the outcome of that if, if you do have a case there? Absolutely does. It, it impacts uh, the potential claims that you can bring. Um, you know, typically uh, somebody's not paying attention, they run into somebody that's a general negligence cl uh, claim. But if you've got somebody who's behind the wheel, they've been drinking and driving, then you have a wantonness claim against that individual. And then in Alabama, we have Dram Shop uh, and Dram Shop claims. And our firm you know, specializes in handling these types of cases. Uh, it's a uh, claim against the establishment, be it a bar, a restaurant, a convenience store, uh, who overserved or served alcohol to the individual while they are visibly intoxicated. And so with those cases, they are a little bit more difficult. They take experts typically to, to prove the case and you've got to show through forensic and physical evidence how you know that person was visibly intoxicated, should not have been served alcohol, and then they were intoxicated when they subsequently caused the accident. So a little bit more involved and you know a, a couple of potential additional claims as well. And, and so in that particular case, it's good to have a, a lawyer that you trust uh, can maybe sift through some of these complicated issues that can get a little bit more hairy. Absolutely. And, and recently the laws kind of changed within the last you know, couple of years in for those particular types of claims. So that's why it's even more uh, important in those situations to contact an attorney and a law firm who handles those cases every day, like the law, like the attorneys at Hollis Wright. Good to know. Now, what if you're in a wreck and it's the other person's fault um, and they don't have insurance? Should we still contact an attorney? Yes, you absolutely should. And it gets a little bit more complicated when you're dealing with those types of situations. Unfortunately, about 20% of uh, Alabama drivers do not have insurance. And so in those situations, uh, you potentially could have a claim against your own insurance for what's called uninsured and underinsured motorist coverage. 
Um, and so there's some nuance to that, that and procedures that you need to work through, and it's important to have an attorney to do that. And then we touch upon dram shop. There's potential other claims, um, be it you know against a if there is drinking and driving against the the establishment, or if the person's you know in the line and scope of their employment, there might be a claim against their employer as well. So. Um, it definitely can, can add a little bit of nuance to the claim. And, and which makes it a little bit more complicated, again, to, to sift down. So important Absolutely. to have people that you trust uh, making these calls, getting this information, and, and really digging through this. Uh, John, we appreciate your time this morning. We have the number on the screen right there if you want more information from Hollis Wright and Clay. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. My pleasure.